With their red carpets, award shows, and Hollywood parties, it's easy to forget that A-list celebrities are just like the rest of us, a bunch of filthy animals. So today we're going to bring the stars back down to earth, exploring the moments where Hollywood and the animal kingdom overlap. By taking a look at a pack of doggy doppelgangers, feline fraudsters, and ferocious furry figures that look just like celebrities. If you name yourself after an animal, people are bound to draw comparisons. Unfortunately for Snoop Dogg, his relation to man's best frizzle goes beyond his rap name. This little dachshund might not be a beagle, but it's definitely Snoopy. The braids and chain on its Halloween costume making it look exactly like the Californian rapper. This isn't the only D.O. single G that's been likened to Snoop. Kermit is an Italian greyhound owned by YouTuber Jenna Marbles, whose little smile and skinny face is instantly familiar. And although Kermit swaps bars for barks and gin and juice for dog food, his similarities to the rapper are undeniable. Faux kibble. Hollywood heartthrob Taylor Lautner used to be famous for long hair, big muscles, and spontaneously exploding out of his pants every time he got angry. Turning into a wolf fit Lautner's image pretty well, but it turns out a different, less intimidating animal may have been more suitable. This alpaca is called Calendar Girl, and while she might not seem like heartthrob material, this duo of dreamboats have very similar smoldering gazes. And I've heard that the alpaca has a set of washboard abs underneath all that fur. So let's settle this. Are you Team Edward, Jacob, or Calendar Girl? Fight it out in the comments down below. Pop star Ed Sheeran is famous for hit songs and ginger hair, so whenever a carrot-topped animal comes along, people on the internet are bound to draw comparisons. This kitten is the hissing image of the singer, from the eyes to the ginger fringe, and you can just imagine his little paws strumming on a Fender Catocaster. From the top of the pops now to the bottom of a swamp, netizens have pointed out how closely superstar Madonna resembles this bullfrog. This amphibian may swap rhythm for ribbits, but it certainly has a lot of stage presence, and the pair's leggy poses are nearly identical. Let's head out of the swamp and clean ourselves off. There's nothing sadder than a dog in a bath. And when this poor pooch was placed inside the tub, he pulled an Oscar-worthy frown, perfectly mimicking the face of award-winning actor Samuel L. Jackson. This dog isn't the only pup that looks like Sam Jackson, though. Imager user Owen Max Sarai thought that his distinguished dog shared a close resemblance to the actor, and when he photoshopped a pair of glasses and hat onto his pooch, the resemblance was uncanny. Jackson has feline family members, too, and this cat's long face and terrifying stare have also been compared to the actor. I wouldn't mess with either of them. Let's stick to the silver screen, taking a look at another leading man. In 2015, South Australia's Dog Rescue uploaded a picture of an American bulldog with the dazzling blue eyes of a movie star and the distinctive face of John Travolta. The resemblance between Boof the Bulldog and John the Human was uncanny, and the dog's headshot went viral within a few hours. According to SA Dog Rescue, this doggy Zuko's unique appearance meant that he was adopted by a loving family almost immediately. Either that or he was taken in by L. Ron Puppert in the Church of Scientology just like the real Travolta. Also among the Hollywood Hills, Bruce Willis is a macho action hero who's known for crawling through vents on Christmas, riding choppers, and delivering M. Night Shyamalan's most famous twist. I see dog people. Turns out, he was a dog the whole time. Bruce's spirit animal isn't a bald eagle, and although he played a boxer in Pulp Fiction, he looks a lot more like a bull terrier. According to many sharing their thoughts online, the actor's bald head and long face closely resembles the animal, and the powerful but loyal Bull Terrier is the perfect canine to take up the mantle as an action star. So with Samuel L. Barkson, Boof Travolta, and Bull Willis, we have most of the cast for an All Dogs Pulp Fiction remake. Somebody get Frogged and Tarantino on the line. Pulp Fiction is gonna be a hit. It's widely accepted that American painter Bob Ross is one of the most wholesome celebrities of all time so it makes sense that his animal doppelganger would be man's best friend, the dog. This is At Pooch of NYC, a Maltese poodle mix who's famous for the themed photo shoots and cosplays that its owner uploads on Instagram. The Maltapoo's beard and afro combo is instantly familiar, and although it looks like he'd rather run through the woods than paint them, the pup looks right at home with a paintbrush in his paw. 
The Maltipu definitely has Bob's hair down to a T, but the painter was arguably just as famous for his calm, supportive personality, something that this dog mimics perfectly. This dog's disconcertingly human smile has been compared to Ross's calm temperament, but the personable pup has also been likened to a ton of other smiley celebrities, from Seth Rogen to Jeff Daniels. Bob Ross famously said, We don't, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Try saying that when Fido has a happy little accident on your living room floor and looks at you with that face. From one pup person hybrid to another, images of this dog started to circulate online back in 2018. The dog's round eyes and pink mouth make him look a lot like a human, and netizens reckon that he's the spitting image of actors Jonah Hill and Zach Galifianakis. It looks like Zach's hairstylist has used the dog's ears for inspiration, and the pup's fluffy chin certainly matches the bearded actors. However, some people online are freaked out by the dog's human qualities, believing that it'd be more at home in a horror film than a comedy. Speaking of horror, KISS is an American rock band from the 70s who were famous for their horror-themed performances, painting their faces, putting on sparkly outfits, and sticking their unusually long tongues out while on stage. When you think of KISS's extravagant stage personas, a dairy farm isn't the first thing that springs to mind. But in 2017, a rancher in Texas discovered the newest member of KISS's fan club, a baby cow who was born with the band's iconic face paint. The calf was called Jeannie, named after KISS's lead singer Gene Simmons, and the cow is clearly a natural-born performer, sticking his tongue out for the photo. If you stuck Jeannie in a sparkly jumpsuit, he'd look right at home on stage. And maybe KISS's next reunion could have a new member. I hear he's great on cowbell. From the dairy farm to the Oval Office, this photo looks like Donald Trump's hair has jumped off of his head, dropped to the ground, and crawled its way to the Amazon rainforest. Luckily for Donnie, his hairpiece is still intact, and this ball of hair is actually a flannel moth caterpillar, a critter from the Americas that's covered in a set of venomous spines. As soon as the caterpillar was spotted in the Peruvian rainforest, onlookers compared its appearance to the ex-president. And if you slip the critter on a bald man's head, he could easily pass for the prez. Unfortunately, the venomous spines would result in some nasty stings if it was worn as a toupee. That's why the owners of this cat went for an alternative method, creating a strategic hairpiece out of their kitten's own fur as they dressed him up as Trump for Halloween. Adorable or highly disturbing? You be the judge. Speaking of famous haircuts, with his signature long, wavy hairdo, I'm sure that British billionaire Richard Branson would like to be compared to a powerful lion or a majestic stallion riding across the plains. Unfortunately, though, he looks a lot more like this little guy. Nobody knows for sure what breed of dog this is, although people online reckon it might be a Pekingese, a Shih Tzu and Maltese mix, or just a straight-up gremlin. Either way, this pup's silky head of hair and wide-spaced blue-eyed stare make it the canine twin of the billionaire. And I'm tempted to ask him for business advice. Dogs are arguably the happiest creatures on Earth, so for a billionaire dog, life must be one big walk in the park. Unfortunately for some pups, the world isn't all about squeaky toys and chasing tails. When the poop bag hits the fan, you'll want these cold-blooded canines by your side because the internet reckons that they look just like veteran Hollywood tough guy Clint Eastwood. These dogs all come from different breeds, but they've all got a touch of Dirty Harry, squinting, pouting, and grimacing at the camera, just like the man himself. If you want to find out whether these dogs are all bark and no bite, you can meet them at the dog park at high noon and answer this one question. Do you feel lucky? Well, do ya, pup? Actor Danny DeVito's career has been littered with references to birds. His breakout role was as Martini in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He played a comic book villain, the Penguin, in Batman Returns, and he plays the egg-obsessed father of a giant bird in sitcom It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Well, finally, this long-running theme has an explanation. Ornithologists would say that this is a royal tern, a small coastal bird that can be found across the Americas. However, DeVito's fans know better, and this is clearly the man himself the bird's distinctive hairline giving its identity away immediately. The tern's receding plumage is very unique, but interestingly, the bird's bald patch is filled in during mating season, as its breeding plumage covers its entire head in dark feathers to let other terns know that they're ready to mate. Remind you of anyone? Okay, fine. So the royal tern might not actually be Danny DeVito, but the actor's similarities to the seabird are undeniable. And when you place a beak on Danny DeVito, the resemblance is uncanny. 
Speaking of beaks, this big-nosed cat is an oriental short hair tabby called Cory, who was rescued by the Monmouth County Animal Shelter in New Jersey. I'm sure Cory's a sweet cat, but unfortunately, some people reckon he looks more like a Sith Lord, comparing the kitty's ears and nose to Kylo Ren actor Adam Driver. <laughs> I have to admit, there is a resemblance. The Force is strong with this one. From sci-fi villains to a real-life hero, Wilfred Brimley was an American actor best known for The Thing, Quaker Oats commercials, and his long-standing battle with diabetes. Or as he would put it, Diabetes. Brimley worked on several commercials with the American Diabetes Foundation, devoting his life to educating the public about Diabetes. And although he tragically passed away in 2020, his spirit lives on in some furry friends. Their round faces and thick mustaches are the spitting image of the late actor, and every time their photos appear online, we're reminded of Wilford's career and, of course, the unique way that he'd pronounce... Diabetes. People suffering with diabetes have to be incredibly careful about what they eat, but even they aren't as picky as celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. Ramsay likes to put on a tough exterior, but after taking one quick look at this photo, it's clear to see that he's really just a big puppy dog. This breed of dog is called a Sharpe, and the deep wrinkles on the dog's face make it look uncannily like the chef. That being said, if you serve Gordon Ramsay a plate of kibble, you're in for a rough time. From wrinkles to raw talent now, actress Tilda Swinton is a very serious performer. She's won every award under the sun, and she loves to play the villain. Despite this, back in 2021, Twitter user Joaquin Campa pointed out that Tilda shares a striking resemblance to a decidedly less serious creature, namely, this tiny little chihuahua. Tildog Swinton's long face and big eyes closely resemble the actress's, and his solemn expression looks like he's ready to handle any dramatic role thrown at him. Jack Black is an actor who takes himself a bit less seriously than Tilda. Jack's played a few animals over the course of his career, providing the voices for a shark, a saber-toothed tiger, and most famously, a kung fu panda. Unfortunately, the actor's never played the animal that he most closely resembles, this cat. With the wild-eyed, cheeky grin that made Jack famous, you can definitely see this kitty leading a rock band full of kids, dressing up as a professional wrestler, or having a rock off against the devil. Jack showed Beezlebub, who was boss and Tenacious D, the pick of destiny, but I wonder how he'd fare against the demon of screaming himself, Aerosmith's frontman Steven Tyler. Tyler's long, streaky hair makes him easily recognizable, but for one Twitter user, her dog's long, streaky ears provided the exact same effect. Tyler has a reputation as a wild man, but it turns out the rock star is just a domesticated puppy. According to the dog's owner, ever since a friend pointed out how closely her pup resembles the singer, she hasn't been able to look at her pooch in the same way. Now, Tyler and the dog's streaky haircuts are pretty distinctive, but they're dull compared to this next musician's trim. George Clinton is an American musician in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, best known for pioneering funk music, working with Kendrick Lamar, and his insane multicolored hairdo. This colorful caterpillar is the caterpillar form of the Saturniety moth and looks just like Clinton. But while Clinton's hair says, I'm just a funk-loving legend, the Saturniety's bright colors have evolved to say, if you try to eat me, the deadly toxin I produce will probably kill you. Very different vibes indeed. Sticking with weirdness now, actor David Duchovny is best known for playing FBI agent Fox Mulder in 90s hit show The X-Files. Duchovny's character solved a new sci-fi mystery every week, but it turns out Mulder is more of a curious George than a wily fox, because Duchovny looks strikingly like a rhesus monkey. The similarities between Duchovny and the monkey's smile and eyes have left fans wondering whether Duchovny is a Hollywood actor or just a monkey in disguise. As Fox Mulder said himself, the truth is out there. But if it's truth we want, there's no one better to separate the facts from fiction than Jamie Heineman. This bushy-faced man is best known as one of the hosts of Mythbusters, the TV show that aimed to use scientific practice to debunk common myths. Mythbusters ran for 14 years on the Discovery Channel, but there was one myth that the team were never able to quite crack, whether Jamie Heineman is actually a walrus. The similarities between Jamie and the sea creature are undeniable, largely sourced from Jamie's bushy walrus mustache and flared nostrils. That being said, some Mythbuster fans believe that Heinemann resembles a less blubbery animal. This Persian kitten certainly shares Heinemann's whiskers, and the way that he's donning that beret makes it look like he's ready to bust some more myths himself. 
aside from debunking myths, animal celebrity lookalikes can also help the world in another way by ending the long-standing interspecies war and finally bringing dogs and cats together. The solution to this conflict? Ron Perlman's face. Perlman may be known for playing a half-demon in Hellboy, but the actor actually looks exactly like certain cats and dogs. As a matter of fact, the internet is brimming with examples of Perlman's Ronimal lookalikes, and on Reddit, there's a whole page dedicated to cats that look like Ron Perlman, where users share and compare their Perlman pets. Ron's famously deep-set eyes, prominent brow, and imposing jaw have allowed him to transform into a huge number of characters over his career, but even when the prosthetics are peeled off, Ron still resembles these household pets. Now that's versatility. Perlman isn't the only actor who's been likened to both cats and dogs. The legendary Steve Buscemi is the star of Reservoir Dogs, the original Fargo movie, and HBO's Boardwalk Empire. But this animal lookalike is more interested in boardwalkies. That's right, this Pekingese poodle mix called Choochie was rescued by the Faithful Friends Animal Shelter in Delaware, and many online viewers insist his slightly crooked stare resembles Buscemi's. The Reservoir Dog immediately went viral after Faithful Friends posted his photo online, and thankfully Choochie was adopted into a family soon after. Choochie isn't the only Buscemi lookalike. Back in 2019, a woman adopted a cat called Marla that she swore looked exactly like the actor. After sharing this image online, Marla went viral, her Facebook page eventually garnered over 12,000 followers, and as Marla's fanbase grew, the comments underneath her photo started to spark some intense debate. Lots of people believe that Marla's deformed upper and lower jaws made her look exactly like Buscemi, while others argued that she looked closer to Clint Eastwood or Willem Dafoe. Which of these actors do you think Marla resembles most? Let me know in the comments. From a strange animal to a very strange human. British comic legend Rowan Atkinson's character, Mr. Bean, isn't exactly known for being wise. Even so, online commenters insist the dim-witted character's wide eyes, raised eyebrows, and pointy ears still make him look remarkably like an owl. Unlike owls, though, Mr. Bean can't spin his head all the way around. But this next celebrity certainly has his head on a swivel, a quarterback who's arguably the best NFL passer of all time. Star quarterback Peyton Manning only ever played for horse-themed teams, throwing the pigskin for the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. However, the retired football player is more of a puppy than a pony, channeling this frustrated dachshund dog throughout his career. The quarter bark's frown and forehead look just like Peyton after an incomplete pass, and I imagine that's the face that Manning's dog pulls while playing fetch, realizing how far he has to run to retrieve that stick. Unlike Peyton Manning, actor Michael Cera isn't exactly known for his athletic prowess. However, becoming a famous actor takes talent, dedication, and a lot of hard work, so it's fair to say that the star probably isn't lazy. Unfortunately for Sarah, that doesn't stop him from looking exactly like the world's laziest animal, the sloth. Sarah's eyes and smile are definitely very sloth-like, and the actor's occasional hairstyle perfectly mimics the shape of a sloth's head. Although the baby-faced actor isn't known for his ability to grow facial hair, if you look past the sloth's furry face, they could be brothers. Speaking of cross-species siblings, William H. Macy is an Emmy Award-winning actor known for his role alongside the aforementioned Steve Buscemi in Fargo and playing Frank Gallagher in the hit TV show Shameless. A little-known fact about the actor? The H in his middle name actually stands for Hound. Okay, fine, I made that up. It stands for Hall. But you can't deny that the star looks exactly like this funny-looking dog. Even Macy recognizes the similarities, and when he was shown a picture of the dog in an interview, he said that the likeness makes sense, and he's always farting like a golden retriever. Calling somebody's pet funny isn't necessarily nice, but this Redditor's dog looks absolutely hilarious, largely due to its resemblance to famous comedian Gilbert Gottfried. The chihuahua looks just like the funny man, right down to its little teeth. Now that the real Gottfried has sadly left this mortal coil, we have even more reason to cherish this little pooch. If the pup did perform at the comedy club, I know who'd be sitting in the front row because no celebrity loves a laugh in a more epic manner than actress Sofia Vergara, which leaves her with a certain similarity to an unexpected animal. Now, unlike the refined and classy Sofia, African wild dogs aren't the most glamorous animals in the world spending their time hunting prey, fighting hyenas, and rolling around in the sub-Saharan dust. And indeed, it's fair to say that Vigara doesn't look anything like these animals. That is, until somebody cracks a joke. 
That's when her wide mouth cackle turns her into something straight out of the Sub-Sahara, like a wild dog fighting off its enemies. Of course, it goes without saying that Vagara is anything but a dog. All I'm saying is, don't get between her and her prey. Moving to Moscow now, Vladimir Putin is known for ruthlessly ruling Russia, topless horse riding, and licking his own. Hang on, I'm mixing him up with this guy. Putin isn't exactly known as a good boy, so it's surprising that his body double is man's best friend, the goodest of boys, a dog. From the Kremlin to the Kennel Club, this presidential pooch is a mix between a Staffordshire Terrier and a German Shepherd, and its long face and calculated stare are the spitting image of Russia's leader. While I'm sure this pup would rather go for a walk than commit unspeakable acts of international aggression, its death stare is still pretty intimidating. Let's keep things along the lines of cuddly communism now with this little cat. He appears to want to overthrow the upper classes and seize the means of production, because he looks just like Russian communist leader Vladimir Lenin. This cat wants Purina for all, and I wonder if he ever goes hunting for mice with his other communist cat friends, Chairman Meow and Fiddle Catstro. Ah, I doubt it. Lenin Cat might fly the hammer and kibble flag, but cats aren't exactly known for sharing their food. If you thought those historical figure pets had unfortunate appearances, how about these cats, whose nine lives are likely spent coughing up fur balls and leading the Furred Reich? All of them donning the A Certain Evil Dictator's infamous mustache and side parting, these little kittlers look just about ready to invade Poland. However, if any of those unlucky kittens want to change their unfortunate appearance, a wig might be their best bet. And I know just the woman to call. Pop star Cher is a prolific wig wearer and has stated in interviews that all of her wigs and outfits represent different versions of herself. And as it turns out, one of the many versions of Cher is an Afghan hound. The pair share the same long face and wistful stare, but unlike Cher, the hound's platinum hairdo is all natural. Only question is, who wore it better? So that about wraps up our list of animals that look like celebrities. Which copycat critter did you think was the closest match? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.